wild country. I'd say that's more adventure than I'd want. Yeah, nice guy. Voting member. You know him pretty well. Well, I've done a lot of work for him because, you know, he's come in a couple times. We've talked about his trips. Okay. <clears throat> okay. I guess this is it, huh? Yeah. The <laughs> Saturday. Meeting of the New Market Conservation Commission will come to order at 7.04. Uh, first item on the agenda is the Pledge of Allegiance. <coughs> I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Seeing that it's our first televised meeting, rather than a roll call, it'll, I will introduce the members for the sake of the viewers. On uh, my far right, we have Wynn Hilton. Next to him is Fred Pearson. Next is Vice Chair Bruce Fecto. On my left is Ellen Snyder and myself, Will Hamill. <clears throat> we have absent Amy Buxton Jewell, Don Archambault, who else? That's it. That's it. That's it. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> third on the agenda is public comments. We're not going to get too much because we have no public. Uh, there's not too many people out there. So we'll move on through. to approving minutes of November 8th, 2007. <coughs> I still have one change. Sorry, should I just... November 8th? Yeah. On the last page. Where it says... Um, Ellen Snyder stated the second, the third sentence says the minimum impact expedited applications for the for, or for the chairman to re review and sign. I don't think that's exactly what we talked about. The idea was that you could ask a few members to go out and do the site walk and then th that group that you could make a determination but right. it wasn't that you just alone right. sort of needed to review and sign so it, somehow it should just say that a few members can be assigned to go review those. So take out the individual? Uh. No, I think it shouldn't say um, minimum impact. I think I would actually just take out that sentence because I'm not sure it's really needed. And maybe put the words minimum impact expedite applications um, with at the end of that first sentence, Ellen Snyder, blah, blah, blah. It's fine for a group of Conservation Commission members less than a quorum to perform site walks for minimum impact expedited applications. I think that better reflects what that conversation yeah, yeah, was right. about. And then maybe just take out that third sentence. Okay. Which we actually did, Will, on that uh, drain pipe. Don went there, you went there, and I went there. Yeah. So that, that was right. the way we were operating. Right. And that's for the minutes. Subsequently, the last meeting we talked about that <coughs> The, the uh, outcome of those site walks should then be presented at the next Conservation Commission meeting so it can be recorded in the minutes, the outcome of that site walk yep. mm. so that we track. They, sh they should be, I agree. Okay. Yeah. <coughs> Any other corrections? If not, do I have a motion to accept the minutes of November 8th? I'll move that we accept the Town of New Market Conservation Commission um, minutes for November 8th, 2007. Second. Just okay. a, dis sorry, okay, discussion. You need to appoint me as a voting member. I already did. Okay, but you did it oh, okay. officially. You <laughs> I did it too early. <clears throat> Waiting for a second. Wait a second. You yep. did? Yep. Okay. If there's no more <coughs> corrections, uh, Erica, would you call roll? Helen Snyder? Uh, yes. George Hilton? Yes. Frank Pearson? Yes. Bruce Becker? Uh, 
I'll stay. I wasn't here. So. Bye. Next is amendment 2008. I have one small change on page two. Two. Page two. Um, halfway down or so, it says George Hilton asked about, and then my name, and then Bruce Fecto asked about the annual meeting with the partnership for the Piscassic River Loisel. That should be for the Wigan Farm, not the Piscassic River Loisel. Right. Yes. Where it says Bruce Fecto? The end of that sentence just changed Piscassic River Loisel to <coughs> Page two? Yep. It's right there. That's it. Any more correction? If not, I need a motion to accept the minutes. January oh. 10th. I'll make that motion. Second. Second. If there's no more corrections, Erica, again, would you call roll? Ellen Snyder? Yes. George Hilton? Aye. 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 <coughs> Next on the agenda. Could I just say one thing about the minutes? Yeah. And I shared this with Will today. I think you, Eric has did an outstanding job on the minutes. I think they're really, really good. I hope you stay with us. That's it. Okay. Good enough. The next item <coughs> was uh, put on there by mistake. New Hampshire soil canceled a month ago, and for some reason it ended up on here again. <coughs> We're going to have a short meeting tonight. I hope when. Uh, we trust you. Usually we're home around 10.30, quarter to 11, but uh, now that we're on TV, we're not looking so good with a long agenda. <laughs> <clears throat> so, Ellen, would you? Uh, sure, I had several things. Um, one is that we, uh, Wynn and I, did the Nostrum easement monitoring in uh, December. Yep. It was. And one of the things that um, we didn't do was, and they don't have them yet, that easement's been in place, um, I guess it's been over a year now, is we don't have any boundary signs up around the perimeter of that conservation easement. And I went into the uh, file cabinet in the hallway where we have files, mm. and there are a fair number of the uh, new market conservation boundaries for the properties we own, for the, the right. town owns, but I didn't see very many of the easement signs and I wondered if we have another supplier or if we are out of those we probably have used more of these because we have more easements um, I thought we ordered extra I, for your properties I don't you did I have a few left mm -hmm. but not not enough to do the entire yeah. boundary do we have so another place we where we order? keep them I think I got them from Fred right do you have more of these I was just thinking that I I have a supply but I'm not sure what the word it is but I can you check. check I can check you want me to give you this one just so you Sure. It's yeah, because yep. um, they're pretty similar. Obviously, they're similar, but that's the one. Yeah, okay. they're actually in the truck. So when we break or at the end of the meeting, I can let you know. Fred, okay. uh, are you the one that got the uh, the uh, new market conservation? What's the other one say? Conservation boundary. Boundary. Yeah, I think so. You you picked yeah, those. Up. I'm pretty sure that was it. Yeah, I don't think you got any of these. <coughs> well, we've had we've had both. With we have both, but yep. I think we're. Yeah. Maybe our supplies. We have some upstairs in ours, too. More of these. Yeah. yeah. This well, is exactly yeah. what Nature Conservancy uses, so it's it's kind of a gold standard. Yeah. yeah. Uh, should we... Just to save time, and the mail get done quicker, should we approve purchasing more of these while we're here tonight? If we're, if we're out of them, if you don't have any... I, I don't, how, many, how many do you have to buy for it? Well, I'm not sure. I'd, I'd have to go back in history to, to find out, but... I probably have a hundred, I would say, if it's if it's consistent with this okay. verbiage. That's probably enough for now. If you have a hundred so. of that kind, that's probably enough for yeah. now, because we don't have any easements in the works. So. Yeah, I've carried them in the truck because people. I mean, have some asked for we'll probably have to replace some, I suppose, on easements. But. Did uh, the Snyder property get done? Which one? <coughs> was it the one off Neil Schneer. Road? Yeah, Sch the Silverman Schneer. Schneer. Has, Schneer. Uh, Schneer. Uh, signs. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <coughs> That one was done. Yep. 
Okay, so it's, it's just Nostrum that um, needs them. So if uh, if Fred Nostrum. goes home tonight and finds that those aren't the ones that he needs, we should probably get. You could order. Um, I mean, we'll always probably need to replace. I don't know if you have to get five hundred or two fifty. I'm just going to guess, but I think it was about two fifty. Okay, we could. Uh, just to save time and see yeah. if things can get done, mm -hmm. why don't we uh, make a motion that we approve the purchase of an extra 250 if we find that we don't have inventory? I'll second, second that. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. okay. I had some other things on land stewardship. Um, I guess we um, were remiss last month. We talked about monitoring uh, three easements. <laughs> Or actually, two uh, one easement and two uh, ownerships of the town, and uh, we had set dates. And then uh, I woke up on the morning of the second date and realized that we forgot. forgot. <laughs> uh, and the down and the worst part was we had a, a nice Eagle Scout here last month um, who was going to help us, I think, with one of the projects. So we need to touch base with him and reschedule these uh, site walks. And we probably should do that tonight if we can. Mm -hmm. um, they were going to be. Um, the Wigan Farm, which we were required to mine, it's owned by the town, but Elchip and New Hampshire Fish and Game um, hold interest in that, so we're supposed to monitor that one, and um, we need to set a date for that. And the other ones that we need to monitor are the Piscassic River Loisel, same thing, and then Silverman Schneer easement we need to monitor. And the uh, Eagle Scout was going to help us with um, potentially a trail at the Piscassic mm -hmm. River Loisel, so he was going to come with us, I think, on the... Uh, site walk. I did try to email him, but it didn't work. So uh, hopefully he's he'll get back in touch with us, or we'll find a way to reach him again. But do you want to set some dates for those? Uh, you can, whoever you have his con you can contact. I him. tried an email that didn't work, and maybe it changed, or I didn't write it down properly. But. Uh, I I might have it in here. Okay. I'll go over. It. Yeah. Look for. It. You know, we were supposed to do that on the second and ninth. <clears throat> second and ninth. So we're. Do you want to uh, try? The first and eighth of uh, March. Um, I would think the later the better. Snow's pretty deep. <clears throat> yeah, the eighth is good for me. The first may not be. Eighth is good. Eighth is good. We could. Robert and I did the Wigan Farm and Lighthouse <coughs> in, in one mm -hmm. day. Year before last. Yeah. Do you think we can do both, or just, should we just try and see what happens? We might be. We could do um, Piscassic Loisel and Silverman Schneer in one day. I think those two are easier to do together because they're a little right. small. Each one is okay. relatively smaller, and then Wigan Farm is a little can be a little more complex. Okay, so we want to do um, on the eighth. Piscassic Loisel and Silverman Schneer on the eighth. Could meet at Piscassic Loisel at nine o'clock. Okay. With in the, the parking lot, nine, nine o'clock. Is that nine o'clock? Nine o'clock. On the eighth. Yep. Site walk, and that's um, <coughs> March eighth, Saturday. Look, yeah, start at Piscassic. Okay, and, and then and, yeah. we could do. I know people are up for it, doing the Wigan Farm the next day. Is that too much in one weekend? Or do it the next weekend, the fifteenth. Uh, yeah, I could do it the fifteenth. Fifteenth is a tough one. Okay. I won't. I won't be here um, that weekend. But I mean, maybe. Anybody else want you want to do it when? I'll do it. Fifteenth. Yeah. We can farm. Sure. Great. Um. Same thing. Meet at the parking lot at nine. Yep. Down at the bottom of the hill. Okay. If you want, I'll try and get in touch with the Eagle Scout. Maybe we'll check the contact information, and maybe he's yeah, watching or he can I, get in touch I'm with sure us. I'm sure I wrote it down in here. <coughs> Who, who's got the map, the boundaries? I've got, I've got the maps. I'll, you do? I'll make copies, yeah. Okay. And the um, what I've done is, um, you know, like for Nostrum, I had typed up. What I did is I went back and looked at the actual conservation easement deed, mm -hmm. which is the recorded document, and that spells out what's allowed on the property and what's not and so forth. So I've kind of summarized that. So when you go out and monitor, you're kind of supposed to check 
um, and make sure nothing is happening that shouldn't. And so I'll have that plus the boundary map. And then I'll bring a camera in case there's any pictures to take. It, it probably won't show, but I did, you know, the uh, dump site that we found from the pod ears. Yeah. I, I marked it on okay. GPS. Right. I can get you those uh, numbers. I don't, do you have a GPS? Yeah, I can get one. Won't show with snow, will it? It won't, probably won't. No. I, I mean, some of the, the, the cans, the, I mean, the bottles and cans won't yeah. show. I did pick them up and put them in a bucket. Mm -hmm. That might still be there. I never got back to pull them out of the woods, but yeah. it's something that. Yeah, that's it's kind of. See if we got more. Uh, it's a property that almost needs two two visits a year. One in the summer, more when you can actually see some stuff on the ground, and then the winter where it's frozen, you can get back in the wetter areas. But we found that out. The wet areas that yeah. are. I don't know. The ice on the river is not very safe right now, so it may not be that safe in the, in yeah. the uh, swamp area. And we don't necessarily need to go back there. I mean, presumably it's, nobody else can get back there either. So it's fine. exactly. Yeah. And I think it, it's not worth the uh, the chance of getting hurt. Yeah. Um, I guess I had one other update um, sure. or two things. One is uh, last. I think last meeting, Wilfred, you had asked about other town-owned lands. Um, like a you know a spreadsheet which which we have of the conservation right. lands and I think you all got a copy of the open space plan and if you mm. look in there there's a, that table is in there oh, like and so um, I know this for a while was up on the website and I know we've redone the town website <coughs> so I think it's not back up there yet but at some point uh -huh. the whole plan will be up there and so if anybody wanted to see the whole list of town owned lands it's all in here with acres. All you do is look better. Yep. <coughs> yeah. So just okay. you can look in there. Um, Thank you. So we can make copies, but I just thought I'd mention that first. Yeah. And um, people can pull it out. Um, the other thing I got, I was contacted by the Great Bay Resource Protection Partnership, which is the group of um, state and federal agencies that do land protection around the bay. Mm -hmm. And they've been doing land protection for five or more years, including lands in Newmarket. And they are finally... Uh, working on getting a website up and running. It's not, I don't know if it's ready yet, but what they're going to do is have a map of properties that they've helped protect uh, and they've contributed, either they've helped purchase the property or they've contributed money for a conservation easement. So they're going to show um, these properties on a map. They're not going to say who the landowner is if it's privately owned, um, but they are going to talk about these lands were conserved or helped partnership helped conserve these lands and they're going to say whether they're open to public access and if they're open to hunting or walking or what the uses are and so they contacted me um, because they helped protect um, the Nostrum farm and they helped protect the Silverman Schneer easement and <coughs> the Wigan farm but the Wigan farm is basically open it's a you know public um, property so I just want to let you know that they are at some point gonna they're gonna be sending letters to the landowners letting them know that this is gonna go up there if there's any issues or concerns um, and again they're not gonna list those landowners on the website but the, the property will be on a map um, let's see I think that's all I have for land stewardship So well, that's it, Ellen. Yep. Just a side Wilfred, note. do you want to give this to uh, Ellen? That's Peter's uh, phone number and email address that I had written down. Okay. Thank you. Uh, if it's the same email that you have, I guess we're both wrong. But I have his phone number there also. Okay, good. I'll try that. I don't, that might have been slightly different. Great. I'll call him, too. Okay. Okay. Wilfred, um, I was just going to say, it's a, it's a side note that uh, Wigan Farm is uh, getting a tremendous amount of usage and the town's doing a good job of plowing the parking lot. I mean, there isn't a day that goes by there isn't two or three or four cars there. The sledding? People walking dogs, kids sliding. Um, it's too bad that all the properties couldn't get the kind of use that that gets, but it does get a tremendous oh, amount of use. I mean, I go by there <coughs> quite often and Kind of look around, see if there's any rubbish or anything. Yeah. So far, it's been very good. Very a lot good. of people use it. Yeah. That's good well, to we, hear. We figured, you know, we, we, we noticed that when uh, it was Kurt, Robert, and I did the uh, site walk last yeah. year. 
Yeah, yeah but I mean, since then, it's we noticed up. a lot of mm -hmm. people. Oh, yeah. So it's a good thing. Yeah, it is a good thing. I mean, it's. Speaking of use of it, though, is the four wheel is still going through there? Oh, no. Oh. Well, not since the snow got deep. And they've been grooming that trail through there uh, periodically. And uh, I haven't. No, I haven't seen any four wheels. <coughs> on it. Good deal. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> next on the item on the agenda is the committee reports. <clears throat> I've been trying to take care of the treasury. Uh, uh, the last time I mentioned it, uh, I spoke to. Don Parnell, and he's going to try to fabricate something that's easy for everyone to just pick up and see what we've got instead of having to decipher, decipher so many figures. I didn't get in touch with him this time. I've, you know, almost a month's gone by, but uh, I promise that uh, we will work on that and get us something once a month, like Bruce was talking about, and, uh, next time around. Uh, <coughs> Lamprey River Watershed Association. Uh, Amy was going to try to tackle that, but we haven't heard anything from her. Uh, LRAC, anything to report, Fred? Well, there's there's one thing I think that's important. It was established on Tuesday, and that's an invasive plant um, committee. And what we're interested in in terms of objectives would be to identify uh, what the plants are that, that need to be taken care of, where they are, remedial action that might be taken, um, and education, public education. And I think it's interesting to note that uh, we at Conservation Commission had an interest in that. And uh, actually, I invited uh, some people from New, New Hampshire Extension, UNH Extension over. And I think Ellen was on that walk. We did um, um, a block in the name. Heron Point. Heron Point, that's the one. And that happened to be in pretty good shape as far as she was concerned. It's, uh, it's something that's controllable that we could, we could take care of. And now LRAC's in it, interested in it, of course, UNH Extension. So there's a, there's a very, and Nature Conservancy. So there's a very strong interest in invasive plants, and I think it's, it's uh, really needed. Mm -hmm. I mean, for example, if you go up to the Nature Conservancy park, parking lot on Bay Road, the uh, Oriental Bittersweet has gone up into 40-foot trees and basically decimated them, killed them. And we had a grapevine that was huge, for example, in our field, huge all kinds of grapes on it and the oriental bittersweet got into that and it's gone there's no grape <laughs> grapes on that vine anymore mm -hmm. yep. i have another um thing with the lamper advisory committee that i think was discussed um <clears throat> tuesday night and um i this is i involved with them through my work so just have a different hat on but um Every year, the Land Prairie Advisory Committee typically gets uh, a federal appropriation. They do a lot of land protection um, in the four towns that are in the Wild and Scenic River. <clears throat> and um, so this year, they're requesting another appropriation for continuing to do land protection. And what the, a couple years ago, the New Hampshire Congressional Delegation asked all of the New Hampshire land conservation groups, um, like the Forest Society and the Nature Conservancy and these other groups that do land protection, rather than everyone coming in on their own and saying we want this or you know we need this money for this good project to sort of for the groups themselves to get together and review all the big projects that all the groups want to do and then um, collectively decide statewide which they think are some of the most important projects to then the delegation can can you know help promote them <coughs> if you will in congress for funding and so that has just happened in new hampshire and I think there were 10 sort of big projects throughout the state, and the Lamp River Advisory Committee um, ranked very highly, you know, among its peers in the state. And so they will be um, requesting a um, million dollars for a federal appropriation for land protection for this fiscal year. And what they're asking, um, what they're doing is actually, you know, writing letters of support to the, the Lamp River Advisory Committee is writing um, letters to say, you know, this is really important. We've got lots of projects. I think they've got four to five million dollars worth of projects ready to go for land protection. So this federal money is really important as a match for local money. And they're also asking each of the towns, Epping, Lee, Durham, and Newmarket that are in the Wild and Scenic to write letters of support for this 
um, request of federal funding and those letters um, are going to come and the town council will be asked if they can support you know would, would write it, basically support write a support letter in support of this request for land conservation and really the the um, the idea about why this is so important is that the Lamprey River is really important for drinking water for Durham potentially new market we're looking at the Lamprey River and um, and Lee, I mean, all four towns, it's a really important water resource in addition to the scenic resource and the wildlife habitat and, and all those sorts of things. So um, that will be coming actually probably to the council very, very soon. Those letters need to go in probably in the next couple weeks for support. So hopefully um, <coughs> the council and will support that. Anything else? For That's it. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> uh, council report. Uh, we received a letter from NCDC on the mills, which is kind of moat now, uh, seeing that they turned the ZBA turned down their variance. So, uh, <clears throat> you know, we we were we are in a butter Heron Point to the mills and so there's not much not much we can report on that uh, next on the agenda is chairman's report and and I I would like uh, Bruce to take care of uh, seeing that he was we're all aware that he was the uh, representative to the school for the uh, scholarship the yeah. little scholarship that sure. we had uh, so if you would well uh, Wilfred brought this to my attention and thought, you know, since this is something that the uh, Conservation Commission has done, that we should get an idea what happened with the money. Uh, this is a letter from the Dean of Unity College, Maine, uh, to James Benvenuti, the recipient of the uh, Afro Scholarship. Uh, it says, Dear James, it takes, it takes great pleasure in informing you that your grade point average for the fall uh, 07 semester places you on a dean's list. Uh, every college and university is proud of its students who show the value of learning by excelling in their learning process. Uh, sincerely, the dean. Uh, it's kind of nice that they forwarded this to us. Uh, uh, James' mother. Uh, just thought we might be interested in seeing what happened with the money and how it went for them. So it's kind of nice to get a little feedback that way. And uh, yeah. hopefully he'll do <coughs> continue on like that. Great. Yeah, good job for James and his parents on this one. Uh, we, we don't usually hear, get any results back from anyone, but we thank them all. Uh, <coughs> next, I have um, on the chairman's report, I have a announcement for I've mentioned it at the council but uh, this is a good chance to repeat it seeing that we're televised Richie Shelton has been doing the fishing derby for 18 years and he wants to break off a little bit spend a little more time at home and his work at home is um, building right up so uh, <coughs> Uh, anyone that anyone out there that's listening if you could have any idea of someone that could pitch in and help him he's willing to train or stay with whoever it is and guide him right along so uh, we would appreciate just as well as Richie because he's done a lot uh, so uh, slip us a note or let us know um, let Richie know. Uh, let's see. <coughs> the uh, I sent a memo to the town administrator about the snow on Water Street. If you're still wondering, but the pile is still there. Although uh, the uh, DPW has had plenty to do lately, I don't imagine they're gonna. You know that where they parked the. I was surprised it's still there. It, it's still there, yeah. But as soon as they got word that we would like to see it move, uh, it's been drizzling or snowing, or, you know, ever since. So, <clears throat> uh, 
the Boy Scout that came in at the last meeting, um, he was mostly interested in trails, right? I think he agreed to pursue the trail at Piscassic River Lizelle, I think. That was yeah. my understanding based uh, on our conversation. Yep. Yeah, Ellen, I think, and Bruce were interested in. Well, we were hoping that he would come and do part of the site walk with us. Mm -hmm. right. I think that was the plan, and it we just I just forgot all about it. Ellen, <laughs> so nothing happened. <laughs> yeah. We'll try again then. Yeah. What what I'm interested Weeks. in, I, I imagine everyone else is that we could during the winter months here before good weather sets in, we could get moving on developing beginning of trails like for instance Loiselle <clears throat> uh, because I'm I'm hearing you know getting word from even a seniors that would like to take walks out there and you know are there trails there and yeah we're working on them but uh, we haven't really got going on it you know you mean specifically at Piscassic River Loiselle or any place any any ones but uh, I mentioned Loiselle because it's closer to town, you know. Right. Uh, well, that's the one I think, yeah, that we've, we're excited about the Eagle Scout helping yeah. that. And I, you know, that takes a um, little time. So I'd say by maybe midsummer, there might be something that starts to get laid out. You know, they are supposed to do some planning, and there might be a permit for a wetland crossing and laying it out sure. and getting the help. But I would think um, so. we don't have, I mean, Wigan Farm has a trail, mm -hmm. and Heron Point has a trail. And we'll get the one laid out at Piscassica or Lazell, but uh, some of the properties that the town owns are not necessarily conducive to right. trails. They're wet. Um, the, t the Tuttle Swamp property at the north end of Tuttle Swamp is is a very wet property. So, um, unfortunately, just the nature of Newmarket, it's a very wet town, and you know it, it's hard. We don't have a lot of upland where you can have a you know trails through upland forests. Mm -hmm. um, the Nature Conservancy has a nice, very nice trail on Bay Road. It's open to the public, um, but in terms of sort of nice flat, mm. wide trails, we just don't really actually, you know, have the kind of property that allows for that. But right. If um, it may be something at Loiselle that we could create some shorter loops, you yeah. know, so that people don't have to go way out and way back, okay. and and think about some shorter loops since it is one of the enclosed properties. It's not a huge walk. Right. But it could be a loop around the field or something, and people could then come back and instead of going all the way into the woods. So there could be a couple, possibly a couple loops. That could be actually uh, mowing would make a trail. Right. Uh, got close around the edge of the field, yeah. Mm. Cutting. Mm -hmm. Long, long as we. For that. But I mean, up the wooded area, the, the, uh, the pond up the top. Mm -hmm. We had talked about when. Um, Sure, he's gone for two months. I can't remember his name. <coughs> Kurt and I walked that mm -hmm. one. Uh, we made notes about, you know, it should skirt that, not right. necessarily go, th you know, right. back close to it, but skirt it. Mm -hmm. uh, and up around, it's a little rugged for elderly, but uh, the, the short route around the yeah. field would be great. As long as we keep that in mind, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, <coughs> I got word f from uh, Diane Hardy, the town planner, asking me to try to pick up a couple of representatives from the commission here to attend meetings on the uh, developing the developing of a master plan water resource chapter. Have you heard of that, Ellen? I have. Uh, I don't know if the meetings would be too frequent, uh, and we could certainly let you know. Uh, too bad we're not all here. Uh, so I would encourage someone to try to get a hold of, you know, get a hold of Diane and uh, enlist. It's uh, what they're trying to pick up representatives from you know the planning board and the council and I've talked to her about that and said I'd be willing to participate you would see we have one 
I think that would be good. I think you'd do well with that. Uh, it would probably be wise to get two. Yeah, there if we can. certainly we can just, be more. That way, mm -hmm. if for whatever reason Helen can't make a meeting, you have backup, and vice versa. He's good that you sign up for that, Bruce. What? Did I sign up for that? Wait, <laughs> no, did I? Well, I didn't I, volunteer. I did think I? so. We tape. Can we get this on tape? <laughs> You're in favor of it. That's a start. Right. How often does it happen? Oh, yeah, I was going to say, how often does it? Uh, it sounded to, to me like it'd be two or three times a year. Well, it's a it you know it's developing the chapter, so presumably it's a short-term thing. It's yeah. you know let's say it started now and it went for six months and the, the chapter would be written and then we're done. It, so it's a fix. In that case, I will go. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't <laughs> go that quick. I don't. I have no idea. But I'm saying it's a <coughs> maybe it'll take a year. I don't know what their time frame is, but it's um, it's not a standing committee that would then be there forever. Right. It's my understanding is it's you help write the chapter. And the, one chapter for one the master. Part of that, yeah, right? one part of that, and um, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. We got two. Diane will be. You'll have to keep me informed, though. You know what happens to my memory. <laughs> well, mine was gone too. Apparently. As long as I don't have to do it, my memory will do pretty good. <laughs> okay. Uh, <clears throat> one last thing I have. I see what you folks think about it. In the past, <clears throat> I hate to bring it up. The problem we had with the uh, waterfowl at the Shanda Park, uh, we tried a couple things and it really didn't work. Uh, I've been, something was handed to me a little while ago and I'm, I'm about to look into it. It's called Armorex. It's something, I think you mentioned it, Bruce, a while back, something similar to it. You spray it and it depends on what you buy. Uh, it lasts for a certain length of time. However, being right next to the water, we've got to contact. Make sure it's <laughs> safe to spray. <laughs> the proper, proper authorities and make sure it's safe to spray. So, uh, I'd like a show of hands to see if you people agree that I look into. What is it? A repellent? Yeah, I'm not going to buy it, but uh, it's, it's a repellent. Yes. Yeah. It. Uh, it ha it's supposed to, the little bit I know about it now, it's supposed to have a decent odor for us, but it repels uh, certain... Dogs, too? Uh, well, if you want to do that, then you buy the dog repellent. <laughs> so what, say, say again what the purpose is, what's... What? To keep them off. <coughs> to keep, keep the geese the off the grass. They keep eating like, all the grass at Jandabog. Yeah, someone's training them to eat there now because the saf Yesterday afternoon, there was about 90 mallard ducks right there in the park. Oh, yeah. Wow. And three geese. Oh, yeah. So, um, I'm yeah. not, well, I'd have to know more about the repellent before. Well, I could, oh, I certainly do myself, yeah. Yeah, before I'd support putting anything on oh, yeah. the grass yeah. there. So. But you people are all set. But it's worth I, looking into. If I look into it and. No harm in gathering information. No. Oh, agreed. Okay. That's the least we can do. Like Ellen says, though, I'd like to know the chemistry of it. Yeah, uh, there's quite a few people or organizations around that would like to know. So <clears throat> we'll have to be careful. Uh, that's all I have. <clears throat> do we have any old business? I have one thing. Uh, you had brought up at the last meeting about you had a conversation I think it was with the New Hampshire Municipal Association about right. their recommendations on how money from the Conservation Fund, which is what the Conservation Commission uses, how that money could or should be spent. And um, so I followed up with that. I called both, uh, I, I didn't call the Municipal Association, I called the director of the New Hampshire Association of Conservation Commissions. And I asked her about it, and um, I've actually heard this from other um, people as well. Um, there is some difference of opinion on the interpretation of the state statutes related to the conservation fund, which by statute can be set up by conservation commissions um, by town vote. And the municipal association takes a very conservative view of it, of the conservation fund, saying it can only be spent in that town 
can only be spent on town land. Um, sort of a more restrictive interpretation, again, of how you should spend that money. The um, Association of Conservation Commissions takes a broader view of, of how the conservation funds could or should be used. Um, we have talked about things like the scholarship and, say, planting trees in town and things like that. And I think the Association of Conservation Commissions sees those broader natural resource activities as perfectly legitimate for a conservation fund. If you look at the RSA, it talks about natural resource conservation. Those are the things that the Conservation Commission is responsible for. It doesn't speak to the specificity or how restrictive the expenditure should be in the conservation fund. So there is no black and white answer to this. And in response to that, in part, the Association of Conservation Commissions actually is writing um, a guidebook for conservation commissions on how you should use your conservation fund, because this has come up apparently quite often in, in many towns. Um, I think the Municipal Association is probably going to continue to have a little bit more restrictive view. So that's why the Conservation Commission group really wants to provide some guidance. So I just wanted to give that feedback. I think. Uh, did you speak to uh, Nancy? Carol Andrews, who is the executive director oh, okay. of the Association of Conservation Commission. I don't know where she was the day that I spoke. Uh, you may have talked to the Municipal Association because they're the ones that have that restrictive. I spoke to the two of okay. them. Yeah. Um, yeah. So anyway, I, my interpretation is, you know, we should every time we expend money, we should obviously think about how it's being used. But it seems to me the things that the Conservation Commission has funded are are within line with what other Conservation Commissions uh, do. Mm -hmm. Do you have an idea when the guidance would be available? She said um, they're working on it right now, and she hoped within six months there would be something in writing, you know, oh, a good. guidebook. Um, they do want to get the municipal association to support what they're writing, so we'll see. That may take some. It's just a personal view, but I would take the broader aspect than I would the more restrictive. Yeah. It's uh, something else to interpret. Yeah, I think if you, and one of the couple of the words she used is that, um, you know, the, the funds should perhaps go to something physical, like if you're buying land or, you know, getting trees and, you know, mm -hmm. some physical, or you're getting some service. Um, now, the educational things are a little bit sort of in between that, but, you know, if you're, if you're educating people and, you know, you're getting citizens to support and understand natural resource management, and they in turn will do things to, to support that, it seems pretty legitimate to. It sounds like. <clears throat> Like the scholarship, one side says okay, one side says eh, maybe not. Well, I think the, I think where this whole issue really came about was um, whether towns should spend money on land conservation in other towns. And if you do, should you own, like if we bought, if the town of Newmarket bought land in Durham, or if we gave money to Durham to help protect a piece of property that we thought was important, that helped protect Newmarket in some way, Right. Mm -hmm. Do we need to own that land, or do we need to hold the easement on that land, or can we just give Durham some money to help protect that piece of land? The Municipal Associ Association says no. Yeah. And the Association of Conservation Commissions has a little bit broader view. Now, I was asking about other kinds of expenditures, and I think there's a little bit of a... Well, last year about. when we did the uh, money for the land in Newfields at a butts chanted some of it... Right. 30 acres was in New Mark. 20, 22 yeah, acres right. of that property were in New Mark. Right. Uh, yeah. So that's fine. Although right. we don't it have an ownership. Right. And municipal association would say, well, maybe you can't, you shouldn't give that money. But again, most people would have a broader interpretation. I think. Yeah. Yeah. Because so. a lot of times, different environmental groups will, you know, I'll get a letter asking for donations and boy that's the end of it right there if you can't the money's going to be spent out of town so well I think that to me that the um, thing though that I think might be helpful to get is to get some guidance because I think you do need some framework to say no this is a legitimate use of new markets land use change tax it's conservation fund but this is maybe not we don't think it really brings something back to our community for natural resource conservation so I think we do need some guidance so I think that will be helpful so that was good. It was good to yeah. learn about that. Didn't we talk about planting trees and they 
and they said that that wasn't really something that we should get involved in? The Municipal Association said no. Right. So, okay. Uh, you know. Right, and that clearly is not in, the RSA does not say you can't spend money on natural resource issues in your town. The RSA says you're responsible for natural resource conservation. Yeah, but what exists, not creating. Yeah, well, it doesn't say, it doesn't necessarily say that either. No. It doesn't say you can't, I mean, that's a physical, tangible thing. You're adding beauty or you're adding right. um, cooling or habitat or by, say, planting mm -hmm. trees. Because it, it'll come up again. Yeah, so. but I think this guidance book that the Association of Conservation Commission is working on will be yeah. really helpful. Okay. Any any other old business? If not, oh. did you say that that Public Works agreed to remove that huge pile of snow before it melts, or they're just not going to do it again? I haven't I haven't spoken to them for on the matter for about a week. They just have just haven't had time. So no, but they do intend to remove it. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's <clears throat> it, it, it's illegal to uh, to dump in the river. So to me, that's pretty close to you know they didn't didn't well, yeah. dump it. Absolutely. Right. It's parking it there, and eventually, uh, before these last two little storms, that pile was black. Yeah, it was. Oh yeah, it's full of salt. Yeah, full of sand. Yeah, so we we got enough junk going in the river now. As but they was. didn't have the intention of <coughs> leaving it there and just letting it melt away as yeah. it does behind the senior citizen center off Beach Street. I mean, it just yeah, they, it's going they, to be removed. It's it's going to be removed. Last I know of it, we'll try to nudge them a little bit more. Yeah. Okay, any more old business? If not, we'll move to new business. I have one. <clears throat> I was talking to a person that belongs to this snowmobile, uh, well, he approached me, snowmobile group, club, and he asked if it was possible to exit the river at Piscassic Street Boat Launch, he says, because there's a, a sign there that says, no ATVs, no snowmobile. And I told him I would bring it up. He, I asked him to come and, you know, talk to us. And so I don't know if he could make it or not, but uh, I told him I'd see what you people thought. He, uh, the, if I remember right, we didn't want snowmobiles on that boat launch because of the lower part of the launch is made out of cement blocks. It's kind of crude, but uh, the cleats on the snowmobile were chipping the edges off. And uh, after a while, you'd have quite a mess. So he was telling me that they would, you know, if it was allowed, he would be, they would be willing to uh, put down pallets or something, let the snow pile up on it or something, and I don't know what they do, but... Uh, well, that would take care of the wear on the ramp. So all you need, I think, is maybe 25, 30 feet, maybe 30 feet from the, from the ice to the hot top, then you'd be all set. Are they going to use it to he gain said. access to the river by Parking a snowmobile, a trailer there, and no, he says they would like to exit from that boat. And where are they going to go? They're going. Can't go know. on the road. They can't go anywhere. No, that's not my problem. Yeah, I says well. He says we we can't we can't go down or up either way uh, on on account of the sign. I says yeah well. Uh, so he says they're entering someplace along the river. And they would come up off there and head head over, maybe on Jeannie's property. I don't know. I'm not trying to encourage that, but sounds like they want to use it to launch their snow That's machines what I the river. <coughs> if they put down a wood ramp, I mean, that would take care of the uh, the abuse to the uh, the concrete logs that are there, probably. It even if they 
even if they did launch there, they'd need a place to park. Right. In the summertime, uh, fishermen with their trailers park there. Yeah. Of course, they have that whole circle, which isn't there now. It, it, the snow's all piled up around there now. You know, Will, I think you did the right thing in inviting this person here to talk Definitely. to us about it. Yeah. I, it's much too complicated for me to support that without some input from somebody who uh, is going to be able to tell us what they want to do exactly, and we can question them. Yeah, I would agree with that. Yeah, I feel the same way. Yeah. <clears throat> By the time we have another meeting, it we'll might be wise. <laughs> well, it, you know, in, I mean, in the past, snowmobile clubs have been good neighbors, so to that, speak. Uh, in other properties, they keep an eye on the properties, for one thing. And right, like but the Wigan farm, I mean, I don't think we've ever had a problem with snowmobilers on it creating a problem. I mean, they don't. Yeah, but this is a totally different situation. Yeah, this is we're not we're not talking There's about. There's no it. place to go. Yeah. Once I, you, I think what you know, like you said, they want to park there, get the machines, and go on to the river. Hmm. Um, but that's not exiting, and Will used yeah, the term he, exit. He stressed. Exiting is this the, the new market sm snow rollers? I don't know. It's not a foreign, it's not Durham or N Lee? Or no, it's a local person here. It, one of them contacted me about going across my property out back and trying to find, they're, they're looking to increase uh, trails. Trail. I got that idea. Okay, so they're, they're trying to lay out a few extra trails. And I said, well, you know, there is an easement across the back of the property that public service had. And I said, that goes across that whole piece of land. I said, that might be a place to start. Uh, it would be all right with me to use it as long as I don't cut anything big. But you know, I tend to think that uh, a boat launch is a boat launch. <laughs> it's not made for, for mobiles like that. And um, I wonder what kind of liability we might have if we give the go-ahead on this. I mean, we are responsible <laughs> well, if we say yes. It's town property. I think we covered that way for liability. Yeah. Why, why not? Uh, well, yeah, I mean, it's just like people launching a boat there in the summer, saying you know, if somebody thing. gets hurt. It's yeah. But it is designed for that. I mean, that's what it's for. It's a boat launch. And you know, as far as a boat, uh, the, the snowmobile clubs, uh, private individuals are using that now. You go down there now, and there's uh, snowmobile trails, tracks going right to, down oh, to the sure. ice. So, sure. you, you, you know, if <laughs> it's hard to tell who's using it. Or and, and that's part of the reason for these snowmobile clubs. I mean, they do ask permission wherever they go. That's and true. They, they make good neighbors, so mm. uh, if he were to show up, I think it would have been a yeah. good idea. Tonight. And I, I think, I tend to believe that they're trying to build up like for next year. Hmm. So they would have liked it, like to be able to do that this year, but like I say, if he's, if, if he's not here, he's Yeah, you can just, can you get in, can easy, easy to get in touch with? Mm -hmm. I would re-invite him. Encourage him to come next meeting yep. and lay out what it is he has in mind and Okay. Anyone else have any new business? Yes, bro. I don't know if it's new business or not. I heard rumors that Open Space wanted to put a, is a referendum warrant? to the warrant, warrant article. about warrant article. changing the land use taxes to, to the conservation of getting 100% of it instead of 50%. We had talked about it at the last mm -hmm. meeting, saying that half a pie is better than no pie. And I don't know, uh, does anybody hear anything about that? Did you hear anything about it? Yeah, I, I, I read the memo and I, well, the minutes of the open space meeting, the last meeting. And so I called the chair and he said it was, uh, <clears throat> that it wasn't going to happen. And I. Okay. I. I I just couldn't understand why another committee wanted to change what we do. Yeah. Without coming and here. He, he admitted that they should have 
come here, I guess, okay. but uh, um, it's the, it's not going to happen. Yeah, because that was brought up before and we voted it down. Right. Yeah. Was it not going to happen, or the way I read it was it's remote that it's going to happen. It probably won't happen. No, they're not going to. They're not. It's, gonna, it's not going to happen. It requires, uh, and they know that, it requires okay. a lot of Good. leg work to set it up and see if this community would support uh -huh. it and so mm -hmm. forth. So it's it's an idea that all towns think about, you know, mm -hmm. whether yeah. it's the Open Space Committee or the Conservation Committee, because it's the source of funds for land conservation, for for the work that conservation commissions do. And um, I think they talked about it and, and decided that, you know, it's a great idea from our perspective, you know, for who wants to support conservation, but there's a lot of budgetary needs that individuals have and the town has and it's probably not the yeah. right time. This, this isn't a good time. They, the uh, the well, chair admitted that, you know. <clears throat> okay. It, it, okay, it, so it, it's not going to happen and a rumor was it sort wasn't, of true, but it's not going to happen. Right. Okay. Any other new business? If not, next do, item on the agenda what, is Do, do we have favorite. a full complement of members here? We don't still. No, we still need two. Mm. Isn't well, that something good that since we're on TV, we should? Yeah, <laughs> just to let anyone know that we are short. They know it now. We're too. We're too short. Yeah, it's, it's been posted on the... Uh, yeah, but I mean, how many people... Well, it's been posted on Channel 13 now for yeah, oh, a couple of months. Okay. Quite sorry. a while. I thought yeah. you meant it was posted up on, front. On no, the, no, it's been posted on 13. Not their weekly me. agenda, but uh, yep. comes on every okay. now and then. How many members are shot on... How, how many uh, groups have so many How many committees, shot? yeah. I thought we okay. were going to get Ellen to uh, apply for full-time membership. Did you talk to her? I, I just haven't done it yet. So. <coughs> <Yeah>. What's that? <laughs> you didn't it's forget one of those things right? on my list. I forgot the site walks. And <laughs> but you will. Yeah, I'll do it. Good. Good. So now that would mean we're one. Well, but we can always take an extra uh, all alternate, it. which right. would mm -hmm. yeah. come in handy. Like tonight, we're missing two uh, people. So. Right. Yeah. Uh, Amy and Don? Don, John. <laughs> I don't know. I haven't heard from Don at all. I haven't either, but maybe it's because it's wintertime snowmobile time. I don't know. Yeah. Did you, you see him very often? Or? I don't see hardly anybody from town. No. Oh, well. Okay, if that's all we have, it didn't take too long tonight, but uh, the next item is adjournment. Do I have a motion to adjourn? Motion. <laughs> Go ahead. I made a motion. <laughs> Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 So be it. Thank you all. <laughs>